All right, so now it's time to calculate how much did I pay towards the loan. Well, I owed $180,000. i am going to go ahead and make that the accounting format here. Same thing for any amounts. I owed $180,000 at the beginning of the year. I now owe $173,000. So what did I pay towards the amount I borrowed? The difference between these, right? Around seven grand. So I'm going to go ahead and type an equal sign. I'm going to take the $180,000 and I'm going to minus out the ending balance. Perfect. So I paid $6,328 towards the loan. Now, let's think about this for just a second. I'm paying a grand every month for my monthly payment. So if I do quick math, that's about 12 grand I've paid out for the year. But this is only saying that I paid out 6,000. Where did the rest of it go? When you pay a loan, remember that part of this monthly payment goes towards principal right here, and part of it goes towards interest. So we wanna see what have we paid for the year for interest, right? So total interest paid, I'm gonna put this year, okay? And I wanna figure out how much did I pay? So let's think about it. So I'm gonna make an equal sign. I know I'm paying this every month. So I'm gonna take my monthly payment and I'm gonna calculate how much I paid overall for the year. So I'm gonna multiply it by 12. However, part of it went towards principal. So I didn't just pay for the interest, I paid for principal too. So I'm gonna take what I paid every month, figure out how much I paid for the course of the year, and then minus out what I actually paid towards the loan. Because everything else that's left over should be interest, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and I will find that I paid $6,199 towards interest that year, almost the same amount that I paid towards the loan. Okay, it's about 50-50 split pretty much. Okay, so we've got that. We've got our whole equation here. Next thing we should be able to do if we're smart is fill handle it down, right? So I should be able to take these and I should be able to select them and fill handle them down through here. When I do that, we've got some issues. I'd like you to pause the video or stop the video here and see if you can figure it out for our next one.